Those are great worship songs, aren't they? Amazing grace, my chains are gone, but you alone, Jesus, can rescue me. Those are some of the truths we believe. And we're going to join together now in stating uh, our beliefs together in the words of the Creed. So if you can, please stand as we say this together. And we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Good morning everyone. As we come to pray this morning, I'll give you opportunities to pause the video and take your time to speak with our Father. The Bible tells us in 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14, If my people who are called by my name humble themselves, pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. As a sign of humility, you might want to kneel or hold your hands out to God as we pray, or simply bow your head. Lord, we come before you and declare, not my will, but yours. We pray for your kingdom to come. May we have the mind of Christ as we pray, and let our hearts be broken with the things that break your heart. Father, things have gone really wrong in our world and we have spoilt things you have created. We come in repentance and say we are sorry for the mess we have made of things. We are sorry for not listening to you. Have mercy on this nation, we pray. And you may want to pause here. Hebrews 2 Verse 7 and 8a is our commission scripture for the next part of our prayers. You have made them for a little while lower than the angels. You have crowned them with glory and honour, subjecting all things under their feet. Now, in subjecting all things to them, God left nothing outside their control. Lord, take us and use us as we lift our hands to you in prayer. Hear us and speak to us. Just as you helped Joshua, help us to fight and win the battle over COVID. Send your angels to suck the virus out of the very air we breathe. Make it pure again, we pray. You may want to pause here. Father, we pray for your protection over our friends and families. Release your blessing and enable us to bring healing, hope and love to our communities by the power of your Holy Spirit. Pause here and pray for those you know. Father, increase our faith to believe that we will get through this crisis and be free to move about and meet each other face to face once again. Be with us in our loneliness and heal our minds and keep our eyes fixed on you. We pray against depression and loneliness knowing that you, Holy Spirit, are the great comforter. Pause here to receive God's healing. 
Lord, we pray for our country. Too many have died of this virus. We thank you for their vaccines and pray they will be given quickly. And we pray against any possible side effects. Lord, we pray for our brothers and sisters across the world, particularly those who have as yet no access to vaccines. We pray our country will play its part in redressing that imbalance. We pray and do not forget the 265 million Christians who, in the midst of this pandemic, are still being persecuted for their faith in you. We pray for the families of those who died in the aeroplane crash in India. We pray for peace in America as the new President Biden is sworn in this week. Lord, have mercy on your people. And please pause here to pray for other areas of the world that you are particularly concerned about. We're going to end our prayer time by praying the three P's from the prayer course, which we did a short while ago. Firstly, for people afflicted. Father, we pray that we may comfort those who suddenly find their lives torn apart by illness. For those in grief over the loss of a loved one. For those who have lost their jobs and feel there is no hope. We ask that we can work with you to calm people's fears and stand with them when they experience trauma. Pause here and think of those you know who are experiencing these things and lift them to God. Secondly, for pastors and priests, Lord, Give wisdom to our church leaders as to how to proceed in this pandemic. Give them courage to bring Christ's presence and hope as people turn to them for help and advice. And you may want to pause here to pray for our own leaders. Thirdly, for peacemakers, politicians and the police. Jesus, we pray for clarity and wisdom for our government and local authorities. We pray for strength and help, health for our NHS workers. We pray your blessing on teachers and the children in their care. We pray for you to bless the charities and volunteers working to support our most vulnerable citizens. Father, Bring justice and peace and heal our land. Father, we also pray for your protection over our emergency services as they seek to keep the rule of law and keep people safe. May they act justly and be treated with respect. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. gathering our prayers and praises into one. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.